Hi, I'm Mrs. McDonald and I'm out here by my garden and I'm going to be reading this story to you called Underground. And I was thinking, could you list some things that live underground? I was thinking about that and I was thinking, what is underground? Dirt, rocks, worms, roots, grubs, what else? Let's read this story and see, okay? Underground by Denise Fleming. And these are some beautiful pictures. You're going to love them. Underground. Look at that. That little dude under the ground. And here's a little, a little squirrel. Or is that a chipmunk? I think it's a squirrel. For my sister Rochelle. Oh, I think this birdie's interested in what's underground. Low down, way down. Do you think you know what that bird's looking for? I do. <sighs> underground. Look at all this stuff under the ground. Things like, oh, here are some carrots. And look what the bird found, a worm. Yeah, that worm's trying to stay underground and that bird's trying to pull it out. And these, ooh. Grubs. I don't like grubs. I don't know, that's like a rock. Hmm. Little tunnels. Creatures dig. Oop, there's a mole. And run around. Oh, look. Can you see those little ants? They're running around. Hmm. Oh, wow. He's looking at the ant hill. See? There's the ant hill on top. And then this is all the stuff underground. Past highways and byways. Oh, look. There's a little chipmunk and some, some onions. Squirm ways and worm ways. There goes a worm and a toad. <laughs> I've learned a lot about frogs and toads this year, too. Digging furrows and burrows. Some turtle eggs. And there's that mole. Ooh, I think those are those grubs or something. I don't know, larva? Round roots and bones. Who's putting a bone down there? You see that? That doggy's hiding a bone. Rocks and stones. See a lot of rocks and stones under there. Funneling, tunneling. Ooh. Look at that. That looks like some kind of some kind of bees or stingy things under there doing something. Working their way through sand and clay. Ooh. Oh, ooh, that's a spider. There's a spider and it's down in a hole. Oh. Here some water goes down in. I'm gonna have to read about all this. Low down. This says Bing Cherry. They're making a cherry tree. Way down. There's a worm and an ant. Underground. Oh, that looks like a little toy truck or toy tractor under there. Yeah, sometimes some toys get down under there. Oh, and here. Creature identification. Creature identification. Squirrel. Squirrels save extra seeds and nuts by burying them in the ground. When the food is scarce, squirrels locate their buried stash by using their excellent sense of smell. Rabbit. Most rabbits in the U.S. do not dig extensive underground burrows. They dig shallow holes or use other animals' abandoned burrows as nests for their young. The shrew, many shrew raise their young in other animals' burrows. Robin, in the warm months, robins can often be seen in a tug of war with worms, a favorite food. Mole, moles have strong front legs with large nails for digging. They spend most of their lives underground in search of food such as earthworms. Their tunnels have nesting chambers and food storage chambers. Cool. Okay, let's see, foxes. Okay, a fox. 
Foxes will often enlarge empty woodchuck burrows to use as dens for their young. Grubs. Ugh. Grubs are the larvae of beetles. Some beetles lay their eggs underground. While underground, the eggs become larvae, the stage before the adult beetle. The chickadee nymph. Chickadees start their lives underground. They begin as eggs and evolve into nymphs. Some chickadee species spend 17 years underground before they emerge as a nymph. The emerging nymphs attach themselves to a tree or plant and shed their skin when they become adult chickadees. Ants, look at that, that's extensive. Ants live in large underground communities. Their tunnels have chambers for eggs, larvae, and food storage. Chipmunks. Chipmunks are constantly foraging for food to store in their extensive underground tunnels, which include nesting chambers along with storage chambers and several exits. Earthworm. Earthworms eat their way through the soil. The soil passes through the worm's body and the resulting waste enriches the soil. It's called castings. And if you look, I have probably five or six or seven books about worms because I studied worms a lot this year. You should, you should listen to them all. Um, here we go. Earthworms tunnels aerate and loosen the earth. Earthworms are our friends. The box turtle. Box turtles dig shallow burrows where they lay their eggs. They cover their eggs with soil for protection from predators. Box turtles also spend the cold months underground. This is a scary one that can be underground. I mean, they need to be there, but boy, we don't want to run over top of them. The yellow jacket. Yellow jackets may build underground paper nests in holes they have dug or in abandoned burrows. They chew old wood and plant fiber to make the paper to build their nests. The opening to a nest burrow will appear as a small hole in the soil. If disturbed, yellow jackets become very angry. And I don't want to be around an angry yellow jacket. Woodchuck. Have you ever heard this? How much wood would woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? We used to say that all the time when we were kids. How much wood would a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? Woodchucks or groundhogs. Their burrows are deep and have chambers for food storage and nests for offspring. That's babies. Woodchucks use their burrows year round. Salamander. Salamanders burrow under logs or rocks where the soil is moist. Dogs. Some dogs are constant diggers. They bury their toys, bones, and food. Our dogs like to dig, but I don't think they bury things. I think they're trying to dig up moles or something. I don't know. They drive us bananas with all the holes they dig in our yards. Baby rabbits. Mother rabbits line shallow holes with grass to make nests for their babies. They cover the holes with grass to protect the babies. Those are nice bunny mommies, huh? The deer mouse. Deer mice dig burrows in the ground where they build grass nests. And here's a toad. Toads often burrow in the damp soil under rocks. And then here's something, garter snakes. This is something I just kind of learned. I think I heard this before, but I forgot. Garter snakes do not lay eggs. They bear live young. Sometimes they will birth their young in empty burrows. See all those little little snakes, little baby snakes? They're harmless. They, they're really harmless, but they can scare you if they sneak up on you, huh? Trapdoor spider. Trapdoor spiders dig tube-like tunnels and wait to snatch passing prey. So there you go, they hide in the ground. So look at all those things that are in the ground. Lots and lots of things in the ground. Anyhow, I really like it out here by my garden and I know I have lots of roots in my ground. <laughs> well, I hope you enjoyed this book. Now I can list a lot more things that live underground, a lot more things than just roots and rocks and, and um, worms, huh? A lot of things going on all around, above the ground and below the ground. I hope you enjoyed it. Talk to you later, bye.